everyone, welcome to an all new edition of Connect Now. I'm your host as always, Kenny Dix here, alongside my co-host, Brittany Shea. What up? Hey everyone, thank you all once again for watching here on Connect and Honey Tea, Brittany Shea channel. Brittany Shea channel. All right, let's get to what's going on, the latest news and information going on through the month of April and a little March. All right, Brittany, let's talk about the COVID-19 outbreak. What's going on? What's your thoughts on the coronavirus? Right here. <laughs> you <don't> roll your eyes. <laughs> I roll. Um, I think that, well, it's been a lot since that happened since March, March 1st. I feel like the first week of March, the last time we had freedom. <laughs> No, I think it was like mid of March. Yeah, like no. March it was like March 15th, March 16th. Well hell, yeah, that was the real last time we had like freedom to go place and do whatever. Yeah. Because you know, like I, I wouldn't say we thought we was immune to it. I didn't think we was immune to it. I just think that it should have been handled better to for it to be at this pandemic level, because the USA is is the worst dealing with like we at the highest of, you know. Um, diagnosis and deaths as far as coronavirus is concerned. So basically, coronavirus has been challenging and trying times for all of us. You know what I'm saying? They said the U.S. kind of ignored it at first, which they should have, had, you know, got with the program and Trump tried to dismiss it. And then, yeah, yo, trying to play like, oh, it's not that bad. It's a hoax. Nah, ho, yo, your whole life is a hoax. Your wig is a hoax. <laughs> yeah. Bitch, you's a hoax, okay? And tell y'all president I said that. I don't care. Even um, Trump talented that, you know, the coronavirus press conferences and mm -hmm. stuff that it's been getting sore ratings every day, like being the bachelor and Monday Night Football. And I'm like, this is a health and wellness situation. Right. Apart it's not health. supposed to be trying to be worrying about no ratings. Attention ratings. I think he's more ratings driven and he's been like that for so long. You can become president. Yeah. And then he's he's like that because first and foremost, and, and I know people have been saying this, he is a reality star that should never have been president. And I'm going to leave it like that. And the people that supported him, they they are mad at him because they don't they didn't see what you what, had what y'all what, what saw four years ago yeah. and now they can change that in a couple of months yeah. from now he if they want to go ahead I'm sorry. Or they want to like yeah. change that he hasn't done nothing for nothing for nobody even his his um his supporters they not reaping rewards nor the benefits of nothing that he promised where's the wall. Yeah, that's where is where is saving the coal miners' job? Where is that? Yeah, that's what is why helping poor white Americans? What you did by Diamond Silk getting involved saying you die if you support him, mm -hmm. if you don't support him, then don't take his money, don't take the stimulus well, check. Let me tell you, did Diamond Silk? If I pay taxes, what's going to the government, and they give it right back to me? That's my money. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then again, too. We don't know what this stimulus check gonna all entail and how it's gonna get paid back. And you know what I'm saying? It may, it may boost the economy, it may not. You know what I'm saying? Where's people gonna go? They up in the grocery store. That's the only thing that's boosting the economy is people going to going to get essential needs. Like food, it, food, water, clothes, and shelter. And then that's you got some happens. people that's you know still trying to be off their luck with paying bills and trying yeah, to subscribe to some people. Struggling. A lot of people struggling. Are struggling. And what gets me is the people that are way better off, they don't see like, uh, they only see like, oh, I'm okay, I'm making it. No, it's people out here that's not making it. They're yeah. struggling. People are wondering where their next, next food going to come from, how they going to pay the bills, they lost their job. This is depressing times for people. It's sad and struggling times. So we have to take light of people's plight. This is a plight right now. Yeah, it's sort of like you need to be more empathetic. Yeah, know what's going on with and people. helpful and caring and sharing of people. If we could do that, this world would be a better place. But we we ain't that world because mm -hmm. everybody's so selfish and needy. Selfish, and they're self centered, and it's just oh yeah. I just want to pick it back on diamond soup. Diamond and silk. I understand that y'all got to make y'all coins by targeting and reaching to a certain audience that has the same ideological mindset as you. But y'all pandering, cooning, cooning, booning, wooning, 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 whatever y'all doing. You know what I'm saying? First and foremost, I'm not going to listen to somebody. <laughs> we know the read coming. I'm not going to listen to nobody with no stale ass wig <laughs> on that don't move. It don't move. It's it just, just like, like they sit a helmet. A helmet sit on their head. 
And first and foremost, where in the fuck did y'all get these wigs from? Because it look like y'all got an endless supply of wigs. <laughs> <laughs> y'all get the beauty supply store, you need to get more packages. But you know why I ain't going to knock them? Because they try to get you their bag and their money. They know that. If they do got black support, it's black conservatives, but most of them targeting a male, white, conservative audience or whoever the hell is a conservative. Because some of the shit they be talking about makes no sense. All right, we'll leave it to that. <laughs> Let's get to another uh, phenomenon as people are on Netflix are watching Tiger King. And Brittany, you had alluded um, a couple of weeks ago, mm-hmm. you watched the whole series, right? Yeah. The seven part yeah. series, yeah. Yeah, I, but I was going, yeah, mm-hmm. but I watched it and I was like, damn, this, this is like America's guilty pleasure. But mm-hmm. during these trying times, Tiger King reached up to being number one on Netflix. Yeah, and no a lot of people are doing specials on it. We even have mm-hmm. a special on Viral, so look back mm-hmm. on them the archives on the channel. But Tiger King getting mm-hmm. a lot of pandemonium, even mm-hmm. celebrities such as Carla B supporting Tiger King's release. <laughs> what do you think about this whole phenomenon of Tiger King being famous for just being outrageous? outrageous? You know what? When I saw initially saw it, each episode, you was like, what the fuck? W T I'm like, it's just went from one bad one person to the next person. And I'ma say this. All their asses need to be in jail. They <laughs> bet you crazy. Even um, Tyra King has an arch nemesis called Carol Baskin. And then they're looking at the investigating her because they think that she, she killed, killed her husband. She did. Sis did. Because she had too many examples. You sardine all. <laughs> sardine all. Girl. And then, they like they said, she probably didn't feed her husband to the tigers. Who knows? And they, they don't have... They had an investigation, but nobody has been found. Tigers eat meat, and that man was a meat, and that was it. And then, ain't no telling what she did, but we're going to find out more. And I heard that they're going to do an eight-part special hosted by Joel, I think Joel McHale on Netflix. They're going to do more interviews, in-depth interviews, so I definitely had to check that out. So it was like a follow-up of so, the series. Series, yeah. It's the most weird series. I mean. But all of them had they quirks and they kinks, like Kara Baskin. It just went from, oh, she looked like a nice lady. No, this is a murdering bitch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they did get a whole episode, I think yeah. episode three, about her. Yeah. What? And Doc Antle, a whole child predatory ass man. Belligamy man. No, he, but the man who owns the, the, um, the man with the white hair, Doc Antle, the one that somehow, um, he had all the women that live with him, Doc Antle. You know, the man who owns, animals, yeah, and do animals in Hollywood. Yeah, he like damn near a whole pre- child predator, and then he married them women, and they was young as hell. Kind of like what's called damn. We could say Tom King then was a child predator, fucking preying on them key, young minded ass folk by eighteen, nineteen years old. Them he boys was just sick as hell. The whole, sick, that. the whole and series then, was sick, and then what that man name was, um, they kind of set him up. He got set up. <laughs> What that man name is? Damn. It's just a I damn, can't think his name. It's, it's, it's a sick. If you want to watch for yourself, be entertained by Tiger King during Netflix during this during this outbreak. Borrow somebody password. Go see it. All right. Speaking of that, what about NBA Youngboy, the rapper, and his organ, his little or- ordeal with? For Mayweather's daughter, Yaya, Yaha, Yaya, about Yaya accused of stabbing <laughs> one of his baby mamas. Let me tell you, she did this shit. <laughs> but she only 18, 19, but I'm not going to use that as an excuse. You can't be young, dog, with that damn fool of calm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not finna go to jail over a nigga, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, and he got herpes, he got five kids. He is not a prize. I don't give a damn. He got money. You didn't ask him for no money. She, I ain't no bought her. She ain't no bought me none. But two shoes, I ain't wear them shoes. We did on the line. Wake up, y'all, y'all. She look like that. <laughs> Let me stop. But yeah, I just think like NBA young boy, like he's disgusting. And y'all, y'all, what she did was disgusting. And they saying she facing up to 99 years in prison for some dumb shit that she did. And guess what? You do the crime, you got to do the time. I don't think she's going to do 99 years. Is, is this, is her mom deceased? Is this the baby mom? There's another baby mom? There's another baby mom. You know, Floyd Mayweather got a lot of kids and a lot of baby mom. There's another one. <laughs> what but, about the one with Nelly? She was baby mom too, right? No, she, went, she never had no kids with him. Oh. Uh, yeah. 
Uh, Miss Jackson, whatever her name is. Oh. But yeah, um, I don't think she's gonna do like ninety nine years. If if at top she could get away with attempted, I don't know, you know, assault and battery type thing. But it's not gonna be like no nine nine years. And then I'm pretty sure her dad gonna hire the best team for her, so she don't have to face that much jail time. Hell, we'll be lucky to still get a slap on the wrist. Okay, slap on the wrist. All but what right. you think about it? I don't want to just. I don't know. I just. This just came news to me. And I'm like, wow, what the fuck is Floyd May- that Mayweather dog doing? And then you gotta think about Floyd May- Mayweather. He ain't perfect. He 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 he, he like to uh, it slug his his wealth around and mm-hmm. and it, it don't come from the far from the tree. Mm. Kind of kind of slow and special. Well, we talked. We had that. And that's that, a pair with his daughter too. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of that, what about Sheree Whitfield, former Red Housewives in Atlanta? Mm-hmm. Her mom has been found safe, but okay. Sheree did a little call to action to okay. find her mom. Mm-hmm. So what you think about that situation? I think I don't, I just think not everything is meant for social media. I just think like hopefully she went to the authorities first and went to the news. It make more sense. I didn't see it. I don't know. Like when I was looking at yeah. W. SB, which is the leading news center in mm-hmm. Atlanta, they didn't report it, but the only thing they did was like Sheree put a call to action on oh, social media. Yeah, Instagram. And I don't know if this is a ploy or something like that to get folks to care, but then she had a fellow housewives doing the same, like, hey, if you see something, you can see something, then talk about it and mm-hmm. report but, it to the police. I think, I'm a, I feel like it's okay if you want to make that publicized and you know, call for help and call for action. Nothing mm-hmm. wrong with that. But I just hope that she did it to go to the authorities and then try to go to the news and then do the media, social yeah. media. But I'm glad her mom was found safe. I really was, and then a lot of people were saying online, okay, well, what happened? Why, 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 well, where your mom was at? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And she didn't fully go into that details. details yet. People want to know details of what happened. Where, where was she at? The, the, the five W's, who, what, where, how. And what or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I guess people looking at it like since she put it out there, you need to give us an answer yeah. on what why and she was happened. missing. Mm-hmm. So I guess you really don't want to get into it and be want to remain private. Yeah, but you know I'm glad her mom was trying to say yeah, that's good. Okay, speaking of that, is Ellen DeGeneres out of touch? Now we we know that Ellen made a comment about the COVID nineteen, like she's her house being like a prison, prison but now. She's doing her um, show at her house. Mm-hmm. So is Ellen in the per- parameters of saying, hey, I kind of feel a little bit claustrophobic and I want to get out. But now I miss she, being with an audience. You know what? It's, a, it's different terms and ana- analogies could have been used. Like, I understand. It's, you know, nobody want to be at home 24 7 like that. It is what it is. Mm-hmm. It's just the, the, the the card that we was dealt, the hand that we were dealt, we just had to make right of it, make best of it. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? This is the time to do things that you've been wanting to do. Time to take, enjoy this time off because when you get back to work, they're going to be on your ass. You're going to be working harder than you ever. Working harder than you never before. Yeah. Never ever before. Yeah. Because a lot of things had to be catched up and, and done. And done again. And done again and done right. And it's going to be a lot of time has passed. And I just think people, you know, it's hard. But I just really think about the people who really are struggling during this time. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because it's hard enough that they live, everybody, you know, this is apparent that everybody in this country is living paycheck to paycheck. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's living paycheck to paycheck and just trying to make, make ends, ends meet. meet. Yeah, no yeah. matter what your social bra- economic class. class or your bracket. You know, I make five figures. I make 500000 I make 100000 Shit, that check is gone. That money's not coming in. What you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and Ellen comes from a red to riches story. Yeah. And now, I guess she being from like riches she, now, she, she's, she's lost in a way. I feel like if you just say, compare something so henny, henny, henny horrendous, horrendous. horrendous. There's the conditions of prison. Prison is is no fun and no no joke and no games. Yeah, we people seen, killing each other. They dying in there. Drugs. It's just survival. It's safe conditions. They treat them like caged animals, mm-hmm. and it's just not right for you to feel like you and your spiraling million dollar mansion, all these damn rooms. I'm pretty sure she got a fucking movie theater on the dance floor, so she love the fucking dance. So <laughs> much gonna do that. They're talking about prison. 
two totally different things. Girl, you fucking out your mind. And I used to fuck with you, Evan, but now you really showing that you you out of touch and you with them, baby. You are one percenter for real. Yeah. And then they ain't like that too. Some one percenters are not like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not going and I'm I've never been the type to say all. Oh, I say some. Because yeah. that's how it is. So Ellen, you truly out of touch, girl. I'm gonna need you to get get back get back and snap back into reality. Well, I hope so. When her get her show back, she'll kind of need to go back and apologize. Mm-hmm. Or speaking of somebody who might need to apologize, is Bad Barbie. Bad baby. Bad baby. She yeah. changed her skin tone to look more black. So what do you think about Bad Baby going mm-hmm. from white to black? <laughs> Let me tell you something. She been saying for the long time, hey, I'm culture appropriate. I ain't acting black. I ain't doing that, didn't that? And I don't think you can act black. I just think that that's somebody's like personality, you know? Because mm-hmm. I haven't seen a lot of people you know, when you want to say ghetto, a lot of people been. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? A lot of people is like that, loud and alley, and they ain't got to necessarily be black. I don't see white people like that. You know, Chinese folk, Asian, you know, Hispanic folk. That you know, acting black is not a thing. I was yeah. just gonna say that because how you gonna act black when black people come in multiple facets, facets and at different beliefs and attitudes and personalities. So mm-hmm. ain't no such thing. Wow. But yeah, she she definitely trying to transform herself into something that she's not. <laughs> <laughs> and she she, she and, <laughs> and girl, how you went from a whole white basic white girl that looking like racial uh, dude, that racial, racial ambiguous, looking like you mixed, looking like you like a light skinned. What that girl. woman name? Racial dude dude. Racial dude. The dudes are everybody know who she is. Dover's all, whatever that name. She went from white to black. Baby, she had the best transition. Whole girl had fair white skin, like motherfucking snow white. And now she dark tan, looking like somebody light skin auntie. You know what I'm saying? With the curly um, hair, <laughs> looking like with that curly hair. Now pro black, um, NWACP sister soldier. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, she she a perfect example of. Uh, I don't know if they're trying to make this a thing of people feeling like they was born. Now people try just like born a wrong body. Some people feel like they was the born the wrong race. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So <laughs> that's probably what she think in her mind. But she says she's not black fish and she's not culture appropriate, but she is. All right, we'll move on to that. To Young Jeezy and Jean Mai are engaged. So mm-hmm. what do you think about Young Jeezy and Jean Mai taking another step further mm-hmm. with marriage? Okay. I think you know, love is love, and you know, whether it's interracial or like between, you know, what's the word when you date inside your race? You just, interracial. No, that ain't interracial. You're just black love or white love, whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> what do you mean, inside your race? Yeah, we just black, so black people call it black love, interracial people call it interracial love, yeah. and just white people, I don't know what they, they call just, it, white they love, love or they just call love. love. <laughs> I just think, um, I don't know, cause Jesus been engaged before, and that ain't work. You think he got to he he got to prove himself because he don't have a good track record. Yeah, he don't have a good track record with women. He stay cheating on women. I mean, you know, they could be at the honeymoon stage and she can go left. You know what I'm saying? That yeah, Jesus. I just talk about Jesus because Jesus was married to that Freddie man, and she she wasn't herself in that marriage because <laughs> you could tell. But I mean, good for them. Girl, all I gotta say is why Jesus. That's all I gotta say. Keep your eye out for Jesus. Yeah. And you know, and then um a lot of people get on her about the comment she made about I like she said she like her white meat main and her dark meat on the side or some shit like that. Which was like, uh uh-uh, uh, no now you fetishizing black men. And some people think she really is fetishizing young Jeezy. So she could he's be a black she man. Can, yeah, cause that what she wanted. That was she she getting what she wanted, a black man. You know what I'm saying? Could she be fetishizing him? She could. Maybe not. We don't know. We're going to see how far this goes. That's all I got to say. It's going to go married. You think they're going to walk down there? Yeah. You think she'll have kids with Because she Problem. said she wants kids. Perhaps. Yeah, we have to see. But kudos to them. Congratulations. All right. Speaking of that, Common, or the other couples news, Common is actually reporting that they and Tiffany had it. What do you think about that? It's <laughs> just a one. Or Jane, that's just a. Just a um, Thing that's just gonna happen like a one night stand or something like that. Like they together now, but Common got attracted women like he don't be with them as long as he should be. Well, what Erica might do for a long time. 
in Serena. Yeah. But um, I just think they probably like, hey, we both two consenting adults. Let's see what this go. Let's have fun. That's what I think was going on. Did you see that video that she did on YouTube? To my computer baby daddy. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Cringe <laughs> word. <laughs> Come and get your baby dad, huh? Kevin Hart, swear they playing. Yeah. But they more like comedic actors than like comedians. But I'm like, what can't wait on that? Did you hear in a special she did that was funny? <laughs> <laughs> Tell All that Kevin did that the part. With that woman, with that woman. <laughs> With that woman who's on radio. Oh, shoot. Mm-hmm. That lady. Yeah, I got you, like, good, you make good spaghetti? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they were fucking with each other. So, yeah. Now. That's the highest rate on this YouTube channel. But you know what? Um, I just, we just see where it go. I mean, good for them. You know, she, I ain't gonna lie, she'd be fun on certain things. But in movies, she kind of funny. But it, like, stand up now. Oh, girl, she did just kill it all. Yeah, just do movies. All right, speaking of that, what about on 3LW with Keely? Keely Williams. Keely Williams trying to um, squash the feud with Raven. Mm-hmm. Where Raven and um, Mary J. Blast's ex daughter in law, stepdaughter, mm-hmm. was oh, making wow. fun of him. And then Raven came back and made peace with Keely. Mm-hmm. And now Keely wants Adrian to make peace with her. And they <laughs> have to get to some common, common ground. What you think about that? 3LW. Even well, um, what's her name? Natalia. Sorry, non. Yeah, you know what? I'm. I, I, let me tell you about that. I'm always real with my girl Natara Nine. Natara Nine tell that one lie. <laughs> her story has been the same and consistent. That girl through that damn KFC mashed potatoes. Why would you oh, throw a KFC meal like that? Because you may well just slap the motherfucker or just punch him. I'm pretty sure Natara would lay her ass out. She's lucky Natara and lay her ass out then. Yeah. I don't know what happened, but that Natara's story had been the same. Keila Williams, it has been and always has been the problem of 3LW. <laughs> because she think that she she actually thought she was above everything. She thought she was the star, but she was not. Mm-hmm. She had like a whimsical voice. Her lips. Yeah, they like, just lips. She, like, she got she's whimsical to me. please. And then they said she had a hit or something. They were making fun of her having Oh, yeah, come on. Um, some stupid <laughs> song hit. she had. I didn't even know she had a song. I didn't know she had one either. It was, ooh, when they were doing a song, I died. I just like, you know what? You just would go with what you know what you go with. Yeah. Revert to being a mom. But you know what? I think Raven would low-key be shady. Low-key, like, she'd be like, because when she was on that live with mm-hmm. Brianna, Brianna, promise it, promise it. She was like, duck. <clears throat> You know, like, don't do that, but it was, it was funny. She knew it was funny, low-key funny. And on the line, Raven was just trying to eat her peanut butter jelly sandwich. And Keely just trying to... When I saw the video, Keely was like, um, I didn't have power with nigga, and I'm not going to apologize to Shamari. And Adrian, me and her are bitch friends, and we're not going to be friends anymore. Blah, 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 blah. And well, I was what like... What did you want to live in Atlanta? I, I don't know. I think she lived in Atlanta. But she, Keely got to understand that that's karma for her ass, because what is she doing? Not a damn thing. Being a mom. Okay, but like, career-wise, she ain't doing she a damn shit. thing. She knew shit. Last time I saw her, she was on Stump the Yard or something. But she still ain't did a damn thing. You see Natara over here, she on she power. power she and acting. Adrian on the and real. real. And Adrian got her t- YouTube thing, and she doing It's like every damn celebrity on this damn YouTube. Right. It was like, damn, YouTube and TV. On. That would seem like, uh, at first, like, I'm like, with Love the T said, y'all don't want to be on here. And all of a sudden, they're all over him. Like, damn, what happened? That's what I'm saying. It's YouTube. YouTube tell- for the people. I guess we television stars now since everybody else. We probably be, YouTube probably be for the real people. I know, but that's I'm saying. That's what supposed to say real, but I'm talking about regular joy ass people. <laughs> I know, but I'm saying, like, YouTube becoming, like, more commercialized mm-hmm. and more celebrity. Corporate. Like, mm-hmm. She right. Corporate, corporate. But, yeah, I, um... I mean, I don't see no Cheetah Girl reunion coming down in the future, but I mean, you think they gonna get back together? No, nah, not anytime soon. <laughs> With their attitude, she had. All right, let's move on to another topic. As Kim Kardashian and her sister Courtney have their fight, so I think Courtney wanted to leave the show for good, but Kim does not want Courtney to leave. But mm-hmm. should it be mutual? Like, okay, if she doesn't want to be part of it, let her have her space. Mm-hmm. What you think about that situation? And it all boils down because, and I ain't really watch Kardashians. I used to watch it, but I stopped watching that shit. It got it got like unbearable to watch because 
the stuff was pointless and stupid at the point. Like, y'all act like y'all lives were so bad. Like, recording say, it's people dying, Cam. You know, like, it got to a point where it just wasn't entertaining no more. It's just like they just Lost they Yeah. And it's, and it's like they're not it's getting off of, you know, get leave on top. Yeah. You don't try to stay on t- TV. TV. Yeah. Just because Ryan Seacrest wants you to stay on Yeah, you make him. Don't get me wrong, y'all making money, ain't nothing wrong with that. But then again, it's like, okay, y- you did every possible storyline, issues, and problems anybody could have. It's time for y'all ass to go and skedaddle. And then this fight, I just think it was a ploy, probably. It looked like a real fight, because Courtney, they always fuck with Courtney. Courtney would be wanting to be doing her own thing and be with her kids. Ain't nothing wrong with that. She, like, you don't have that much of a work ethic like we do. Okay, ma'am, you don't do nothing but post on Instagram and take pictures. We got Kim. Yeah, and, and Kim. Then, they, and she and doing that, court, court law stuff, too, now. Yeah. Trying to get the, pure, the people who yeah. been sentenced. And I commend her for that. And she commend her for being a businesswoman. Turn an uh, orange, lemons to lemonade, which they did as a family. Mm-hmm. But then again, y'all prophesized off of black women. All your looks, your images, and mm-hmm. your, face, your face, your features, your assets. Black women, but none, none black women can prosper and win and prophesize out that while black women can't. That's what they base. That's why I base the Kardashians off of. And then Courtney, she said, "Fuck it, I'm tired of. It. I'm tired of y'all picking with me. I'm tired of y'all talking me in a kind of way." She had enough and she lost it, and that happens. And she had to show Kim better rather than tell Kim. So she slapped the dog. She got to kill. Kim kept missing. And how you miss when you slapping with your hand? Kim and Courtney said. Bop, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And knock her head, knock that wig. She was shaking and shit that wig, and the makeup got on the damn wall. She knocked the makeup off her head, goddamn. But yeah, Courtney just tired of them just criticizing her for everything. You ain't doing enough. You ain't doing this. You don't fit the Kardashian brand. Courtney said, "Fuck the Kardashian brand." You know what I'm saying? At this point. All right, we'll be back with more connect now. Stay tuned. Connect now. Back here alongside Brittany Shay. Brittany Shay joining the conversation using the hashtag Connect Now here on Connect and Brittany Shay's YouTube channel. Let's get back to what we was talking about with um the brat. The brat being out. Yeah, the rapper the brat. Huh? Yeah. Well, I don't think she too much with out it because people figured she was like Queen Latifah. They thought she was <laughs> <laughs> And ain't nothing wrong with that. You have you are entitled to your privacy. And she dating um the Kaleidoscope CEO and founder, the real big booty Judy. She put her proper on Instagram. And I think what mostly shocked people was not that the brat was gay, that she was gay because she got like three kids. But that don't mean yeah, you know what I'm saying? People can do this look. Flip flop. Flip flop like me and women. You know what I'm saying? So congratulations to them too. The brat got her sugar mama. Cause that lady got some money. You hear me? She got a sugar mom. She brought her a beans or something. She brought her. But it's Brad got a sugar mom. Brad came up. She paying off that million dollars that she owed for stabbing that lady. Damn. Look, 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 look. Damn. Sorry. Oh. But what? I'm pretty sure it's love, though. I'm just talking shit. That's why I do talk shit. So don't mind me, y'all. <laughs> what about singer Ari Lennox mm-hmm. having trouble with her hair? And Snoop Dogg mm-hmm. chimed in and talked about what she needed to do with her hair. <laughs> The worst thing you can do is tell a black woman to do with her hair, baby. Because whether she want to wear that thing natural, straight, or curly, that's her prerogative and let her do her thing. You know what I'm saying? It's so many times that black people 
in general, you know, black men, black women be criticized for what choices they decide to do their hair. You wear dreadlocks, it's a problem. You wear your natural hair, it's a problem. If you go on to, you know, more of that, you know, relax texture straight, it's a problem. I just feel like let's just people do what they want to do with their hair. Just the hair that grow on their head and they whatever time to texturize, manipulation they want to do, let it be. And wigs, weaves, they not going nowhere. Everybody at this point in time, no matter what color you are, is wearing a wig or wig or extensions. So just let it be. And and I thought it was funny because you know Ari, she's very open with her fans. She like to have fun, and she was just trying to you know lay down that wig. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know she wanted to hear this song. Like right. boom, 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 boom. But I'm like, oh Snoop, you the second time you just showed your ass now. <laughs> now at first we were with you again, yeah, King, but you went too damn far when you see <laughs> funky doll headed bitch. Okay, <laughs> now to a certain degree, but you know you had to. Back we'll then, and apologize day, you know? because you know you done went too far. You can you can stay and voice your opinion without disrespecting someone. And I think there's a lot of problem. And Gail King, you, you know, that was back a couple months ago, February. She knew she was fucking wrong too. So two wrongs will make a right. And you go get off R and R checked you. And she showed that picture of him with a white, like a real white with a wig on. Say, oh, now come on now, Uncle Snoop. So she checked you and said, you ain't got no business talking about me. What I should do with my hair, honey. So go on about your way, go about your business. Okay. Even um other well, news, speaking of with Gail King, with mm -hmm. the controversy was around Kobe Bryant. Now mm -hmm. Kobe Bryant has been selected to be mm -hmm. into the twenty twenty Hall of Fame, the basketball mm -hmm. edition. So Kobe Bryant getting his just due for being eligible for this year and mm -hmm. makes it. Well it's unfortunate that he's not gonna be able to see it. Yeah. And I think they just did it on uh, it's an honor and tribute to him. And, you know, kudos to him and his career and what he has done for basketball. He paved the way for a lot of people. And, you know, good good on for Kobe. Okay. Um, what you think about it? It's well touching because, I, mm -hmm. you know, Kobe Bryant done a lot. You know, seeing Kobe Bryant from being a teenager up to, mm -hmm. you know, what he was going to be coming into film. And then now, you know, what? happened this earlier this year that was unfortunate mm -hmm. but now Kobe can really like celebrate heaven knowing that he's he was always gonna be indebted to being a basketball hall of fame. Yeah. And so now he gets there enshrined with his family mm -hmm. with honoring him on his behalf, but it would have been special for him being that person and to see his peers mm -hmm. see the line like that he paves the way for. So you know it's it's fitting for him, and you know he will see, you know, see it down the road. Yeah. All right. Speaking of that, what about um, Nene feuding with Candy and Wendy Williams? <laughs> what do you think about Nene Lee getting involved in the Candy, saying Candy is just Kenya's follower, and now she's saying about Wendy Williams, but Wendy Williams mm -hmm. told her, "I don't want to be involved in the talk show." But <laughs> well, it's sort of like you do most of the time because you—that's what you talk about. I mean, I don't know what's up with Nene. I think Nene's trying to keep her name out there and still be relevant and mm -hmm. prevalent. Because she been doing a lot during this, you know, lockdown, corona time down, corona time. And it's like, okay, you're trying to insinuate that Candy stopping bags. First and foremost, I don't believe that Candy, from what I've seen, has tried to support everyone. Except Fabian. Cause Fabian did her dirty. And you think she's going to support somebody like that? No. Hell no. Nah, I don't right. want to support nobody that done me dirty. Mm-mm. Um, Major they're making lines and accusations get Candy can rule Candy brand and I'm like Candy sound on oh, ain't down for that. And mm -hmm. then Nene, you know, trying to have a feud with Candy, I think it's some slight jealousy there. It's cause Candy, she's not breaking though, she's Candy. She don't fly her wealth, but what I see. She no, got she a lot of money. She don't. She got more money than anybody on the show. And she make more money than anybody on the show. But do you see her going around town doing this about it like Nene would? No. No. Just keep. Like they say, you know, because I like Candy. So, um, and then I like Nene, Nene at certain times. I like Nene. But Nene, you dead ass wrong for all situations. And then with Wendy Williams, I can understand her point. Like, hey, if you want me to do a live, you don't need, I don't need to be hearing all these different people here in the background, here in our conversation. Talk to me when you can in a quiet room, in a quiet place, all to yourself. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I get that with Wendy Williams. When Wendy Williams said, I don't be part of that housewife shit. I'm not a housewife. I paid the way for, for people that's doing what I do. 
that doing that, like bloggers and you know, talk to the gossip and shit. gossipers and what we ain't got real out there, Hella Hopper, you don't know who she is. She was a gossip mm-hmm. back in the twenties through the sixties. And um, some other damn like Rona Berry mm-hmm. and Mary Hart, they was doing the way before Wendy Williams' ass was doing it. Yeah, but then again, she paved the way for like the black part mm-hmm. of yeah. black sexuality. Yeah. But she said, "I ain't into the housewife shit. Don't put me in nothing. Put me in none of your drama, your mess. Be that to the side." But I think their friendship was kind of probably fecal anywhere because you know they were one minute they cool being friends, they minute they fall out. So I think they're gonna get right back together. Yeah. What you think about it? Just a damn hot mess <laughs> when you look at <laughs> all boys of it. Yeah. I'm like, Nene knows she don't need to be trying to do that because she looking for she's seeking for attention. Mm-hmm. And Wendy Williams, I don't even know why she befriended Nene. You know, Nene should know better. You know, when you befriend Nene, Wendy Williams, you know Wendy Williams gonna speak her opinion, but you mm-hmm. may like and may not like. So Yeah. And she just went on they both was like exposing each other. Like, you know, when we was on her show talking about Nene, don't call me. And Nene is like, well, girl, you know, pri- pu- private, a public, a apology or something like that on Instagram. So I'm like, girl, just throw the whole friendship away. It ain't, it won't work for them no way. Bye. Okay. Speaking of that, got two more stories. Even with Drake's son releasing mm-hmm. due to COVID-19, his name is Adonis. Yeah, sure. his up. baby, from his baby mama, the Adonis was more like Drake's mom than Drake himself. Yeah. That's the that, that phenotype. What they say, uh, genotype and phenotype. Like, mm-hmm. everybody was climbing Drake. Your son don't look like you. You sure that's your son? And it's like, at first, I was like, oh, that is a white baby. Like, uh, like, yeah, like uh, what do you mean? Can't we see in the movie? That is a white baby. That is not my baby. <laughs> but that's a, I thought it was a cute baby. But I would say that, yeah, the baby do look more like Drake's mom. He got blue eyes. I, yeah, did did Drake eyes. have blonde hair? No. Drake had black hair. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Afro. Mm-hmm. Maybe that boy. Maybe that when that baby grow up, that baby want to be like. Oh, it's, it's some some rapper. He might be like Chet. Um, no, I'm, Chet. Saying, I'm saying it's a rapper that fuck with bad baby, bad Barbie. She bad like baby. Yeah. Ooh. She Albano or something like that. She she talked kind of weird and shit. She was on B Love. She was like, oh, I don't know. I don't know who you talking she said, about. She said, she said, my name is... I don't know who you talking about. No. Is she talking about Woke Vicky? Yeah. Oh. My name is... Uh, Woke Vicky, she's like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> she's slow and in here too. She's like, oh, my, my life. Uh, yeah. She another. She another. Like, um, I can't move my hands like I want to move, but you want to... Uh, uh, she another. She another person that really think that she is a black woman. She white. Yeah. Tell me, oh. uh, I did a DNA test out that I'm black, y'all. I'm black. Y'all, you know what I'm saying? I'm black. All that shit like that. Oh, she got she, she got a funny like voice. Like, oh, no, she trying to sound ghetto. That's what just, it is. I'm ghetto, ratchet, tall, and crazy, baby. Just so she was talking. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Be you love just gotta want to be loved. The hell you put that crazy bitch on there for? <laughs> be loved. Just, she feel like she get all she the fucking people on from VH1, Love and Hip Hop, and the uh, YouTube, and then on WeTV. Because ain't WeTV, ain't thing. Thursday night on WeTV, Ratchet Night. I don't know. With, I'm saying with growing up hip hop. Growing up hip hop ain't that ratchet. It's dramaful. Drama night or whatever. Yeah, but I don't, um, girl, just, just well, eat what you on your hood again instead of having that slow ass girl up there. <laughs> Even be a little talking I about. I forgot what we was talking about. Oh, Drake Baby. Let's yeah. get back on that. Yeah, we went off top. Let's get back on top with Drake Baby. So, do you think Drake Baby, what, it was a ploy by Drake just to show his son? What What does he have to prove? What point? I don't think he had nothing else to do with to show pictures of something to keep yourself relevant because I thought, you know, we kept him here for about a year because, you know, his baby mama used to do porn. Why? Well, that's a poor choice. You know, she mean, a porn star. She used to do porn. You know, we can't judge that later on what she did. I know, but I'm just saying Drake should, Drake had blood for women coming at his throat and stuff. And you pick a porn star? Yeah, they guess they gave the best top heel. I don't damn know what she did. She obviously has. I mean, she got a, a figure on her. I guess they'll be looking at Big Booty Woman. But that, that's who he chose to not use her condom with. So guess what happens? <laughs> you know what? He probably did use the baby, condom though. and the damn condom bust out. It's a beautiful baby, though. Okay. A beautiful white baby. 
All right, they're gonna end this edition of Connect now. <laughs> and I, for Britney's Chain, I'm your host Ken Dick saying so long, and we'll see you next time for another edition of Connect Now. Peace. See. We out. <laughs>